Hello Virgo, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of August 3rd through the 10th, 2020. It's crazy because when I heard August, I started having anxiety like, oh my God, it's almost over. <laughs> so, so this month is almost over, but I do feel like um, some of you guys may be on some kind of timeline, time crunch, okay? And it's just like, oh my God, it's happening, it's coming. Okay. All right, let's keep going. What's going on with the Virgo? Oh, this is Virgo birthday month at the end of the month, right? Yes, Leo right now, I believe, and Virgo is coming up. Mm-hmm. That's probably what somebody is excited for. Like, it's my birthday. <laughs> Definitely. Well, happy birthday. I can feel the excitement. Somebody must be getting ready to do something new. Maybe somebody planning something. Is it just going to be huge? I usually don't get birthday feelings, but this could be that. Okay, let's keep going. All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Mm. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's crazy because I just um saw that skit with David Chappelle acting like... uh. What what's his name? Rick. Rick James <laughs> saying it's a celebration. <laughs> so I do feel like somebody has a party. Party, party, party. All right. All right. So we got the telepathy card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is disconnected from someone. But also I do feel like um somebody what do you call that? Um Stop having grown-up activities with somebody. Somebody is just trying to deconnect mentally and physically from somebody. All right. Mm. So, I do feel like somebody is trying to start a new beginning, okay? New beginning, new start, separation, new things, good things. Building a beautiful future, okay? So, we got the reflection card. Okay. So, it looks like... Okay, y'all. Sasha out. I'm sorry. I didn't say that in the beginning. Sit down, baby. Okay, I can't hold you right now. All right, so we got the reflection cards reversed here. So I do feel like somebody um, is trying not to think about someone from the past. Um, trying to, I feel like somebody trying to block them out, girl. Okay. You can't sit on mama lap. Go lay down. Okay, well, you can sit down there. Just get off my lap. Okay. All right, so we got the experiments reversed here. So, yeah, I do feel like somebody's just trying to move on, make something beautiful and positive, and I do feel like somebody's getting ready to block um, you blocking somebody out. She's like, I'm not about to let you come here and manipulate me and make me feel bad and control my energy and control my birthday. Girl, give me my shoe. Okay, so you're not going to control me. <laughs> All right, we're going to see what that is. I'm going to pull one, too, though. So we got the Visions card up right here. So this makes me feel like you already see what's going to happen. You know know what's going to happen. Um, I do feel like... I feel like you're trying to re recept something, like intercept something that this person is trying to do. So this person could have already said something crazy to you because um, they want to try to ruin something that you have going on or just try to ruin you or stop you from leaving. Um, but you already know what they're doing at this point, okay? But we got the stalker card here. We got the third party and we got the receptivity. Mm -mm -mm. So this is not for everybody, but this is for some of you. I do feel like somebody's getting ready to have a, a, somebody that was they was in a third party with. They're going to send you some messages, okay? So I do feel like this is somebody you left already, but you already see this coming. You already see this coming. So at this point, I would not answer any of these calls they mostly collect calls no not what's not collect what is that scammers and uh what advertisement calls anyway any numbers you don't know private whatever you already know that it could be this person actually this person is sending in their ex or allowing the ex to pop it seemed like harass you a little bit but with this sanctuary card here this is my stalker card so not only are these people um trying to send you messages to ruin your day, ruin your trip, ruin your birthday. They also watching you. They trying to see what reaction they get from you, okay? Mm-mm. 
that's why everybody is highly anticipating um this party and this get together because the birthday person they just like oh yeah i'm gonna have fun and blah, blah. and then the outsider the ex and and the part and the person that they cheated with they like oh we gonna ruin this oh goodness but already you already see it coming and that's why you're blocking everything from them when, when it comes to energy and everything because you know what they're trying to do and you're not gonna let them mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. all right so we got reclaiming your authenticity card here so this makes me feel like somebody was gangster <laughs> somebody back in the day you could not even look at them wrong before they put um you couldn't look at me wrong before i put my hands on you okay so i do feel like somebody is trying to pull you out of character but you know that somebody is trying to make you revert to a time when somebody said something wrong or did something wrong or took something to yours you put your hands on them okay so i do feel like you're not gonna do this this time you're gonna you're gonna do a thing like you being happy you know they see you so you're gonna continue to do that okay so this could be you doing this or this could be happening to you okay so whatever case is you know they watching or they know you're watching them okay whatever the way it goes they they won't let you see them sweat you won't let them see you sweat okay mm -mm. but somebody is out for vengeance somebody is mad all right, so we got the beauty card reversed there, and it's crazy because the the ex partner is mad because they can't control you anymore, and you're not sitting around letting them do what they want to do and have these two people. And the third party is just a clown. <laughs> this clown just wants to be a part of whatever it is and make this person happy. And it's crazy that the person on third the third party person does not realize the reason why this person is sicking them on you. Is because they still care and if they really wanted to be with this third party and just with this third party they wouldn't still be thinking about you and what's going on with you okay but this third party don't see that they just like I got it you know but y'all following me <laughs> so you don't got it <laughs> all right so we got the air card here so I do feel like somebody is emotionally drained by this situation but they trying to control it trying to cut it off okay trying to control it trying to cut it off and I also feel like somebody is trying to keep busy trying to keep busy so they don't have to think about what's going on there but somebody knows but they just it's crazy living their best life <laughs> that song just popped up okay so yeah telepathy somebody cutting it all off i do feel like somebody may be um doing candles or um sage to try to cleanse out that negative energy too going the extra mile to try to get this person off their back okay i don't know why i flipped that card but it happened all right yes did i just say something about this i don't even know once it come out my mouth it's gone all right so we got the energy field and this makes me feel like somebody's trying to clean their energy. I think I did say that. Somebody's trying to clean their energy of all the negativity. So it's just like a somebody's trying to move forward in a more positive way. And they trying their best to block this person that's trying to be seen. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on with this Tarot Apocalypticist cards. What's going on with the Virgo for August 3rd through the 10th, 2020. Oh, wow. Um, usually don't get the extra readings, uh, the uh, extra uh, words and stuff during the general readings, but maple is what I heard. So it could be maple syrup. It could be somebody's name. It could be a street. Yeah, I don't smell it. So I don't know if it's a treat. <laughs> I don't know if it's the syrup, um, but I don't know. Maple. And now I'm hearing pineapples, but let's keep going. Let's go with the Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Virgo? What's crazy is when I hear stuff, I usually smell it too, but this time I, I don't smell it, so I don't know what that is. Maybe because it's not a treat. Or maybe, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm getting ready to get into a conversation that's too big for this video. <laughs> All right, so we got the emperor here. So I do feel like somebody is gaining their own stability. Somebody is taking control of their life. Um, somebody is um, making a foundation, making a structure for themselves, and moving forward with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With power. So we got the star card here. So them hopes and dreams definitely coming true. So um, I do feel like I heard jealousy. So somebody does want someone uh, from before to be jealous. But I also feel like um, somebody wants to have a good time. And I could feel the happiness and warmth. This time, this birthday, this event is going to be awesome. Okay, it's going to be everything that you're hoping for. As long as you don't let them little haters stop it. So we got the four swords reversed here. Yes, somebody is not about to waste any um, memory or energy space for these exes. Ex, ex and a person. King of Cups reversed. Okay, yeah. So it's like you wanted to be free. You're free now. I'm not worried about you. And this is not uh, renegotiable. <laughs> renegotiable? I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not going to try it again. All right, so we can't come back. This is not fixable, okay? Let's see what's going on with this star card. Mm-hmm. So we got the hangman card here. So I do feel like, yeah, somebody's just waiting for this event to come. Oh, I feel a lot of energy and power coming from this event. I do feel like positive energy. I feel like love, but then I feel like somebody is trying to poke it with some little negativity. But it's so much love and it's so much happiness and enjoyment and passion in there. It's not letting it. Why my whole body is warm and tingling right now. Okay, it's so much beautiful energy in this. The little poke that these people on the outside are trying to do will not penetrate anything. It will not work won't work but somebody just won't this can't wait for this thing to happen okay so we got the nine of swords here i do feel like somebody was worried and having nightmares i do feel like the nightmares are still gonna be there okay so it's like even though you're pushing it down you're trying to clear it out i do feel like that's where the messages that are coming from still is coming from um your visions are coming through your, your dreams and they come in the form of nightmares because it's something you don't want to happen. You don't want this person to come back. I do feel like somebody's having dreams that, that they back with this person or this person is there and somebody's trying to figure out what to do or how to do it. I also feel like somebody is trying to run away from this person like I keep going through a door and this person is behind me. Or this person is in the room, okay? I keep leaving. I'm trying to run away from this person, but they still there. Okay, so I do feel like that's just somebody feeling like they can't get away from this person because this person is still on their mind. But time will end that, you know, just keep loving and living good and awake in life, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with this King of Cups reverse. Seven of Pentacles. All right, so, mm-hmm. So, like I said earlier, I think I said that somebody is waiting for this person. Somebody trying to see some results, okay? Somebody waiting to see. I'm going to just say you. Could be the other way around. Somebody trying to see if they trap worked. If what I'm doing to this person or do, did to this person is going to react. I do feel like somebody waiting for somebody to go crazy and say something. Oh, okay, I just saw something else um, on online. Or send it to friends who know friends who know that person that's going to send it to them. Like, haha, that's what I did. Um, but I also feel like somebody may even send a friend of a friend into the party to see if it bothers. Okay? Mm. Of course, if I hear anybody talking about this person or anything that they have to do with, they got to go. Okay? Because right now, you talking about my ex, you bringing that negativity into my party, and I ain't got time for that. Okay? And this is somebody... Um, reclaiming the authenticity reverse so it's like i'm not about to go back to the person i was and go crazy and nut up i'm just gonna make you be on your way because you're trying to ruin my day okay have a nice day all right so let's see what this is so we got the hermit card here usually i see this card as um isolation sadness and depression i do feel like somebody's just trying to think 
a lot about how to cleanse their energy at this point and how to clear all the negative energy out their mind, out their body, out their self, okay? My trap. I made a trap for Sasha. And she just got... <laughs> she just stepped on it. But now she looking weird. All right, yeah, but somebody's trying to cleanse their money, mind, their body, and their self. And I do feel like somebody is, is going under to learn how to block things off. And they're going to come back out a lot stronger, okay? All right, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.